Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our Assassin's Creed. Wait, I actually messed up. One second. Because, as the keen eyed will probably notice, we are doing something a little different today. We are doing the PlayStation 4 version of the Ezio trilogy. A small change from the 50 bar PC version that was being a right. Bitch. One second. Gotta do the things properly like. Oh, technology and the workarounds I deal with. Schmiggity schmaggin. Because the reason we are doing this is due to the fact that Assassin's Creed on PC was just being rather odd for the f early in iterations of the game. Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2, both did the weird thing where you don't get to have expressions. Blah, it's been a right I'm jerk about it. But the main reason that I, like, kind of distrusted the PC version of Assassin's Creed 2 a bit more was uh, due to the fact that Assassin's Creed 2 crashed and also had the odd little, like, visual... Like, basically, the camera would break and any kind of like, jilting, tilting would send it kind of tilting and basically make it unplayable and unwatchable, requiring a restart, which would then force me to restart my expressions because, you know, that's so fun when a video game decides I'm going to override the pre-existing things in hierarchy. Yeah. Blah. So I decided, eh, screw it. I'll see if the PlayStation 4 version is like any at all different or odd or anything and considering that it actually is visually better overall overall it is ever so slightly more visually appealing even though it kind of took me some back and forth but i think mostly it was denial because i was still in the oh i should just continue playing on place on the, on the pc and, uh, basically, I got to the same point as I was in the PC version with small changes in that I think I got a, uh, I think I didn't get an armor piece and, uh, and instead just kept more money to upgrade the villa in which I upgraded it a bit more. And I think it's in database. No. Oh yeah, and I also found, but did not do, I did find the location of like one or two more, uh, I think it is, but I forget. Oh, items, yeah. We also got a bit more, uh, codexes, which didn't affect anything, just I think might have given me an extra health. And the only downside to this game... Uh, I think it might have fixed itself, actually. Nope, there it is. Because if I press and let go of the fast walk button really quickly, and then press the uh, trigger that goes into high action mode, it uh, is delayed. So I need to be aware of that. That has caused one or two moments where I jumped off a wall when I shouldn't have, or thingy dees But yeah, I found one right here, and there's another 
secret diddly d it should be in database the truth well actually no it will actually be in yeah but still database but instead in locations there's another one I thought, oh yeah, that was where I thought, I was like, oh, I thought I did this one before, but it's actually a different place, and this is where we currently are. So we'll quickly go do that, and we only just, again, got the uh, double hidden blades, still awesome. Let us continue the game. See how thingy goes. Martyrs. Zah Nicholas II. Yeah, the, we did do one that was like, oh, the staff the staff. Oh, uh, completely. Oh, this time it's the sword. And oh, do we follow the sword? Why? Oh. Uh. I'm confused. Because there is binary there. Apparently wanted just that piece of the scabbard. It was very loud and annoying in my ears. Uh... They burned Joan alive. They took it. And then he killed the Tsar. The Tsar powerless. He could no longer control his subjects. Are they implying that the Tsar of Russia got revolutioned revolution because he lost his Eden staff? Interesting. And the only other thing I need to really be wary of is to not click the share the yeah, the share button. Because on PC the share button is just the same as it always is. It's just the select button compared to everything else, but in this place, it's like, ugh. Wish that it would actually show me. I guess I could just look for it on the map. And I got four of six over there in Tuscany. Alright, let's take a look at the map and see if we can find that other place, proper-like. Hmm... I think it might be this place. That might be it. We'll have to see. I do like that, like, these locations are like, hey, they're important, they're big. And, yeah, we'll go down there. This, this is still laggy as forever. We'll go down there, seek out the other eye glyph. Then we'll come and do all these, get the codex page, and then do the mission. Because I just figured, after I found this one during my... Oh, I'll just go about and do menial things that don't progress too much. And uh, th then the game was like, Psych, you are gonna progress. Glyphs, glyphs, glyphs. And another reason why I chose to do the PlayStation 4 version, after the PC version was like, Heedly he, I'm gonna be a big jerk, is... I didn't notice any, like, major frame drops, but at the same time, I, uh... Oh, that's the mailman. Or pickpocket. Sure, we can run him down. You belong down below with the rab. You belong down below with the rab. I already ran down one pickpocket. One mailman. Or maybe that was a mailman that I stole from, and this is an actual pickpocket. Running away with my money. Can't catch me. Uh, I think you'll find that I can. But, did... He got superpowers. He flew. And this is all crazy! And now I'm standing on his head. Okay, game. Okay, sure. That was odd, but now we need to set my map again. 
which is over here. I think this, because it was a square courtyard type place. Was the place that was the place. So yeah, apparently I stole from a mailman and got stolen from a pickpocket. I do like that kind of radiant event in this kind of game. Adds a bit of life to the world. Though it does kind of then come down to, well, now I feel obligated to go over there and do that. But yeah, from the things that changed, changed, I do believe... Is that a feather? I, I'm gathering feathers. I also got a few more feathers than I did before. A decent few. But at the same time, they're bloody feathers. I'm probably going to have to resort to a guide to get them all. Which you know is horrific because I'm going to have to go to a guide. And the guide will be like, here's where all the feathers are. And then I'll have to go to all the places where I previously got feathers because they're just strewn about the goddamn city. Cities. Countrysides, even. And this is... So it's going to be a lot of backtracking. Luckily, I think, for the feathers, the ooh, you got all the feathers event happens once you place them in the... Uh, the box to remember the boy. Remember the poor boy. As opposed to you gather them, then you get the reward. Because that way I can waste my own time and not have a boring stream. Uh, did the pickpocket? Oh no, that's the mailman. I need to hunt down the mailman. Mailman. I don't even know who you are. You're just highlighted, dressed in red, and when I stole from you the first time, I got the achievement, Mailman, or something like that. It mentioned mail and man. Mailman. The ultimate being. Wait, no, nope, this probably isn't the right place, but we might as well head in and see what the... Darn, it's not going to tell me, is it? But I can steal from this. But at least we nailed it down. This is not it. But I do know that it's an open courtyard. I do know that it is an open-ish courtyard. If so, it has to be you. Has to be that abomination. Also, fun fact, uh, <laughs> when I was doing the various calibrations to make sure that this game was good to stream... Like, balancing the audio so that, at least hopefully, when it went live, it wouldn't be abominable from the get-go. So might need a tad tuning, but we'll see, we'll see. But also, visually, because the brightness in this game, like, the colors are much different. reason that I stopped for a moment was because my, like, be behind my OBS, I have my Twitch, like, streamer page so that I can, like, monitor chat as well as my stream and events and such. Suddenly it all went gray and it's just like, well, that's not my desktop background. What happened? Something happened with Discord, apparently, and Discord, for whatever reason, really likes to default to my, like, opening up on my main monitor as opposed to the secondary monitor where I always place it. That's very annoying. And apparently Discord decided to flip a dip and, like, reset, die, or something. That's weird. We're gonna shimmy along. Shimmy shong. But yeah. So far, this is literally just a small touch-up port of Assassin's Creed 2. We'll probably continue on with, like, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Revelations in this collection because also gives us achievements, so why not? A little bit of extra flair. None of the Assassin's Creeds on Steam have achievements, except for the newest ones, Origins Odyssey and Valhalla. 
We'll steal this and then look for the glyph. Because hilariously, the color grading on the glyphs, at least after my meddling, are a bit better and not as obvious. Is that a feather or... Yeah, I think it's a... F is it a feather? Like, the game. Why? How'd a feather even get up there? Climb. Clem, climb! 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 You had to announce yourself. Come, come. Don't be shy. My dude, you have aggravated me. I think I got my oh, ship back. Don't kill me. I heard the noise, but he's still marked. Ah, success. It just stayed there for a long time, for some reason. And now we need to get that. So probably climb. Ah, bar. Bar? Bar. Bar? Oh, no, we climb here, jump to bar. Why would you put a fucking feather in a stupid place like this? I hate it. I'm looking for glyphs, not feathers! Not feathers! And now I have to just visually deconstruct this entire frickin' building with my eyes. Oh yeah, and I guess one major difference between this playthrough, early playthrough, and the PC playthrough is I did not get the large medicine pouch. Tragedy, I know. The biggest tragedy in the world. Game, I wanted to jump off. Quit restricting me. I guess it's not a big deal. Where the fuck is the, m the marking? It's probably not. It's probably all on, like, this big section. Because it should, like, encompass possibility of the gray on the map. So we just, I just want to come up here because there's probably like money or a balcony area. Oh, we already stole from that. Good. But where the hell? Could the frickin' marking be? Oh, probably in here. This is a bigger courtyard. I don't think I was here. Just jump down, wander around, look for it. Because I didn't find this one. I just noted that it existed. And that was it. Oh, it's in... Uh, Alright, so there is a little tunnel, but we already searched that area. Here, Marky Marky Mark. What was it? Marky Mark and the something boys? Yeah, I wish that there was, like, I don't know, something pointing me in the right direction. Because when it comes to a big place like this where you're just looking all around. And then, like, you're looking for bright indicators of what might be what. Then all of the things that are like, ooh, you can use this to escape. Get in the way. Ooh, ah, I'm gonna stab your family. Is it on the statue? Very annoying. I gotta find the glyph. It exists here. I have to find the glyph. It's not what I wanted, game. <laughs> I wanted to run up a wall. Oh, 
is that's no nope. another reason i wish there was like i could modify my eagle vision i want to look for glyphs wait aha the very subtle light glitches guide me but it doesn't help that these things can appear basically Three anywhere hidden by the murders so it just makes it really hard People to nail them down to see what the organization wants them to see hat trick they made it look like an accident Houdini's grave he almost beat them Gandhi's funeral procession Dallas Archive access denied Wolves are out hunting where, where has uh, eight, six, seven? Oh, okay, now I get it. Okay, this is a... Okay, for a moment I was just like, what is this? Six equals one. Thank you for telling me, hint game, but like, no, that's incorrect. Oh, yeah, here we go. I have to align... If See, oh, that's it. Six equals one, that's the hint to do that. Then eight equals three, and four equals n uh, seven. Seven, seven, seven. But wait. Uh, oh, I'm doing this. Wait, no. Six equals one. I yeah, got it back. <laughs> Technically right. For a moment, uh, my brain was in overloading. But yeah, four. Uh, so let's just make sure. Seven is two. And then eight is three. Submit. Operation New Frontier HQ has given the go-ahead to extract the resource. Negotiations are over. F is planning to give the vote to everyone. Reason just doesn't work with someone like that. I'll send the driver. We've trained him with PE2 in our labs. He shouldn't be any trouble. The motorcade route is marked below. Once the target has been downed, either by Oswald or Z, use PE1 to stage a distraction. Make sure some kind of phantom appear around this slope I've marked with an X. Freak people out. The driver will grab PE3 in the confusion. Ah, and yeah, then it's... A little... I guess it, it's understandable. Like, aha, we're going to make little things based off of conspiracy theories, but at the same time, <laughs> like, guy still died in modern history. Not to mention, I find it a little silly that, like, we're, we're going to make the fan, <laughs> we're going to make the f grassy no, excuse me, blah. Body, get in the program. It's like we're gonna make the grassy knoll an intentional conspiracy theory. And then in the end, it might as well have turned out that one of Kennedy's, like, assigned guards just accidentally shot him in the back of the head. Game, why'd you do that? I was aiming for that and probably would have made it. Stupid game. The contextuals still exist. Come in here, steal for the money, because why not? Money! Money, money, money. We'll grab the codex. And then probably reveal even more codexes. If we run by a painter, we might grab a... Okay, odd well, that you're like, we're gonna make a dead end. Architecture failed this city. This does look to be the poor side of town. Or at least a poor conglomerate. And then we open up onto the streets again. I want to steal from him. I'm sorry, I'll go. Oh yeah, and we also have infamy now. So the more we pickpocket, the more we have to worry about. There was a pickpocket that way, but... 
don't want to bother running down a pickpocket who is in the exact opposite direction I want to go. Come on, game. Get with the the program. I want to go this way. Set up the, the, the pickpockets and mailmen to go this way. It's only fair. Double assassination! And then that still works, which I find hilarious. Even though combat is initiated, if you just calmly walk up ha and don't, like, activate them, you can just stealth assassinate them while in combat. I'm not sure to what extent that it'll eventually force you. Not me. I didn't do anything. How about I give you money? Die. Die. And die into the eyes. And that is why you do not get on my nerves. They would have lived. I even gave them money. But then they decided I'm going to keep harassing this guy. I mean, yes, they were correct. I did kill them, but come on. Next time I steal a codex, mayhaps I'll try to bribe them with money. Money, money, money. Come on, game. The handhold was right there. Into the handhold. Into the moon. And we'll go ahead and set out here. Synchronize! Then again, we should probably check the map after each synchronization, just so that we can see if there aren't any, any codexes along the way. Of which there does not seem to be. But still. They say that there's a... Is it just up there? Why would it even... Who would even see it up there? Are you gonna do anything if I do this? The guards seem to alternate between caring and not caring when you do that. Then again, it could be that I was on an elevated surface, so they might not have seen it properly. You can never tell. Video game. Get that what? Uh, it is me. What? I need that mailman. 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 I don't even know who you are. What are you, a Templar money runner? <laughs> I'm only a courier boy. My dude, you are a courier man. <laughs> you are not a boy. I do enjoy that they actually added that little bit where they're like, oh... <laughs> We'll let you kind of do a pull-up onto it if you climb underneath it, where I don't think you could do that in Assassin's Creed 1. Or maybe it did, but the contextuals didn't work out for me. And once more, check the map, see if there's Codex. Uh, eh, it's kind of on the same place. We'll head there, scan diddly D. It's in the vicinity, so it's not terrible. They locked the gates, how dare they. Ah, the villa. <gasps> Courier boy! <laughs> Courier boy! And since it's just right around the corner, I'll go ahead and grab it. Go bother anyone else, I'm running away from you. 
for your next act, you swallow swords, and I But I do stick knife down throat, even if it is not my own. Uh, body blocking to the max. That's a fast hammer. Good for you. Done. Stab in the eyes for revenge. Give them on their feet. M more guards are coming in. Reinforcements. And more death. Come on. You're very fast. Darn it, I miss. But will you miss? One of us will miss. I'll just throw you to the ground and stab you there. That works. Die. We still can't pickpocket dead bodies. Truly the feature that is missing. Another codex. I think that makes two codexes. And we were at nine. So actually... I have money. I bribe you. Um, good people, it's right, you're not a music lover. I get it. <laughs> if they see bribery, they run away. Understandable. Hmm. I don't think this is a good place to be. Profound sadness. But it is a window, and I should be able to climb a window. Climbing windows is the best experience. Courier boy. Once he is done berating me, I shall throw the coin. Just let me go. Out of my sight. And now there's thunder. Everything is old for them these days. Ah, the parents are spoiling. Gold. So these guys are more trained. They don't care much about gold. You need courtesans to really get them. Well, that's a thing. This is a thing. Memory currently unavailable. Darn. You put shiny thing and then don't let me do? How dare. Utterly cruel. Mean and maleficent indeed. Just love. They can get to combat. Why would you give an archer a hammer? Why would you give an archer a hammer on a roof? Granted, I'm not sure, like, the logistics of hammer versus sword on roof, but still, it just... You don't think of rooftop security and hammer. It just seems weird. Please frickin' climb. Please climb. 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 All of the crosses look the same. Climb. Oh. Uh. There doesn't seem to be, like, any feathers up there, so understandable. But you would discourage that. Then I don't know why you would let me do it that time. You are an odd game. You are very odd indeed. At least this is a good synchronization spot. Any codexes? Hard to tell with all the wanted posters fluttering about. But now we fly. But again, very cruel of them to be like, here's one of the diddly deeds that you want to do, but we're not going to let you do it, but it, it's going to be here, so to show you that it is due. His game is rude. Let's see, paintings, any cheap ones? A few cheap ones. We'll go ahead and get the... We'll buy the ones that are just a hundred-ish. Why not? F 20. Portrait of a musician. Coward. Quit. You are a jerk. 
How di game. <laughs> Let me climb. Like Batman, I shall loot. I didn't even kill him. And once again, Pickpocket showing up behind. But to be fair to the game, it did spawn Pickpocket in literally in front of me not too long ago. So I can't be all that mad. Be gone, Satan. I am Satan. I'm telling myself to be gone. It's self-deprecation. I do find it funny that the courier boy sees me, immediately knows that I'm going to steal all of his lunch money, so he tries to run away and instead he dies. That's what we call a tragedy, I think. Perhaps. Let us fly like an eagle. Dee, 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 dee. I need to do, 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 do. just go to the final one, which won't actually reveal much, but it will finally reveal the majority of the city, at least this side, because I think there is a bridge path to another part of the city that we have yet to explore. Dora the Explorer. But no codex pages, and huh. We must get on top of this building. No, no, stay away from me. Well, that courier boy can go on currying because I have a Make building it. to climb. They just really throw them at you, don't they? Courier boy, courier boy, courier boy. Non stop. All hours of the night, courier boy. The new hit superhero from someone somewhere eating your soul. Alright. Now I do believe we just head down the seat. Oh yeah, I forgot. We can just f g f zoom out to the entire countryside. From the looks of it, all that's left of interest is the race and L. Ah, Leonardo. Luigi! Well, we did find Mario. Well, off to do... How dare you call me a cazzo. Let me just uh, get on top of this. Uh, get on that, climb it, and then throw. No idea how a throwing knife is that deadly. But sure, game. Sure. What we'll probably do is do this mission. Again, it's just like, courier boy, courier boy, courier boy. Courier boy! I think I'm not sure if my pressing my knuckles together scared him off or what, or if I just got away from his zone. Fox hunt. Locate La Volpe. Somewhere near the Marcotto Vecchio. Target located. I just hone in with my special eyes. They can't have my brand. I have special eyes. What? My pouch. Oh, my money. Your money. I don't have your money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have your money. Get back here. Easy. Probably not meant to go that fast. I really have no interest in hurting you. 
So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? I forgot Who that he you? looked like this. They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer, tagliagole, thief. But you may call me La Volpe. La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> my big my nose name? doesn't trust you. <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. A little bit. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. From Roma? A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Maggiardo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. It was only 100 florins, and I got a thousand back, but still. Ah, uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Come on, Le Volpe. Let us go. Ah, oh, darn. His database entry went by. Go to database. Ah, well, we could go to recent people. There's almost no trace of La Volpe, the fox, in the history books. The name's obviously a pseudonym, but for whom is anyone's guess? What small data is available seems to be almost mythical. La Volpe is reported to have robbed the Pope's carriage without any of his guards noticing, including the Pope, who was sitting inside the carriage. One night in 1467, he was seen on the rooftops of the Palazzo della Signoria, the Palazzo Medici, and Santa Croce, all at the same time. Some claim that he's immortal, never aging, while others say that his violet eyes can see through buildings, perusing the contents inside. This does remind me of the Grey Fox from Elden, uh, uh, Elden Ring, <laughs> Elder Scrolls. Elden Scrolls. Follow me, but we must move fast. Think you can keep up? It's still That's daylight out. So this is basically a race. Game is being rude. Let me run. I stand beside you. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Controls. They have been stolen from me by Ubisoft. By Ubisoft 3. In the morning. Ah, Venice rooftops. One of the best songs in the Assassin's Creed repertoire. Do -do -do. Ah, la, 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 la. I am here. Here we are. I'm out of breath. Francesco Di Pazzi is meeting his people inside that church. Oh, is that where the diddly D is? Why is it shining then? They will lead you to a place where you can eavesdrop on the meeting. Grip that stone handle. Turn and that basically teaches me of down. the catacombs. Thank you for all your help, Volpe. Hmm. Buona fortuna. And he just gave me help. He didn't even ask for payment. Which is rather nice. Hold to climb faster. Skull! An assassin's signature. That is very advanced machinery. Who invented this? Me, obviously. Ezio through time. Hiding spots appear as blue dots on the minimap when in open conflict. Yay. The one downside of doing it on console is I think the loading times are a tad slower, but they didn't seem that bad there. Or when I was playing the game, just going. Infiltrate Santa Maria Novella's catacombs in search of the Templar meeting. 
this is a restricted area. But I suppose it was easier for them to just make you notorious in here, because this is a guards for a Templar meeting, so of course we'll be notorious. If we are seen by guards, they'll try to eat our eyes. Nice wall art, caveman. This is very deep underground and intricate. If this were a modern Assassin's Creed game, those skeletons would definitely come to life and attack you. I can only presume. Now this is quite like Prince of Persia-ish, which is fitting considering that Assassin's Creed 1 was a modified version of a Prince of Persia pitch, in which you were meant to be an assassin bodyguard for the prince. But then they decided, you know, if you're not playing the prince and this is pretty different from other Prince of Persia experiences. Let's change it to something unique. How long do we have to stand here, Saverio? It's so cold. What do you want, Ilario? <laughs> Ilario? He is paying us good money to watch the entrance, and the dead won't try to murder us. I can't wait to go home to Elena and tell her how much gold we made tonight. Well, if you want to do that, uh, you'll have to do a bad job and let me through. No, not the Great Hall. I want the Bad Hall. Game. Very silly game. Climb proper. Contextualize better. Contextualize good. Ah. Yes. Goodbye, friend. Other friend must die. Friend is coming this way. Unlike the 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 archers, he is quite oblivious. Oh, I think that they, they want me to come up here. I wonder why. If it was just for a hiding place to get the drop on him. Speen. Interesting device. Interesting one-use device. I saw that treasure chest. I'm going to grab it. I do like the camera work that kind of sh subtly shows you how you're supposed to go about doing things. It's not stealing with the, from the dead. It's not even in a coffin. Because, uh, yeah, we need to... Ah, I'm dumb. I see you now. Small outcropping. Closed door, because nobody opens doors nowadays. Who would even dare open a door in a catacombs? The door. Keep watch while I go look. This was supposed to be an easy job. I told you we shouldn't have come here. 
If I hear anything, I'm running to the other guard post. So help me God. So help me God. Kind of messed up. Into the water. And dead. Oh, I can't. <laughs> they knew. I can't use uh, throwing knives, I don't think. Yep, they disqualified that because they want to make this hard. Saverio, I'll be back with the other guards. Kill the fleeing Templar. Because he's an agile type. Must run faster. Kind of cheating to give him extra help. Such is the power of video games. Again, the game keeps helping him. So many get out of jail free cards. Come on, I'm... Dang it, I was almost there. Would not be surprised. There we go. Auto guard post was right there, I think. Whew. Yep, right there. I am a horror protagonist because that guy, he almost made it. He was the final girl. Just want to make sure. Is there anything good in there? It is just a room, and there probably isn't anything in there. So, I'll let it be. I doubt they'll be jerkish enough to be like, Oh, you did good, so we're gonna uh, actually punish you for doing good. Although some games do do that, and they are jerks. Time to eavesdrop on a Templar meeting. It's all here. A monk? We'll have to kill a monk. Armor, bows. Our men will want for nothing. I take this gift to mean the Pope consents. He gave his blessing to the operation. As long as nobody's killed. We're all set for the Duomo in the morning, Signore. The bait's been laid, but it wasn't easy. His fool brother keeps changing his plans. See, si. we'll need to be all of them must sure die, Giuliano including the old man and the other old man. <laughs> what is it, Jacopo? You think they suspect something? Impossible. The <laughs> Dici are too arrogant or too stupid to even notice. Likely a bit of both. <laughs> Do not underestimate our enemies, Francesco. Or have you already forgotten how your son was murdered? We'll suffer no such surprises this time, Maestro. You have my word. Your arrogance will kill you. Molto bene. I should be off. I have some other business to attend to before I return to Rome. Gentlemen, tomorrow a new sun rises over Firenze. May the but will the Pope betray you once you kill guys. people? Open the sarcophagus. I get a thing. I get lots Look of things. Look at that statue. Get lots of things. It's identical to one in the Villa Auditore. Indeed. I think you've stumbled onto one of the assassin's tombs Ezio's uncle mentioned. Stumbled upon, indeed. 
Now that we know the way in, I'll tag the landmarks containing tombs in the database. Thank you, Rebecca. That is a fancy lock. When all it is is a fancy lock. And a giant coin. And now I leave. Seal of Darius. Hey, I play that guy in League of Legends sometimes. Undertaker. Does that make me a dead man? Throw an enemy into a breakable object to kill him. Because pottery is the most evil thing in the world. Into the infinite whiteness. And then I come out of a sewer. Such is life. I wonder how heavy that must be compared to, like, modern-day ones. And you're just right here. You know where Francesco will be and when. But the city is, is a danger. It? I overheard something. They have weapons, enough for a battalion. Even the Pope has given support. Mm. Typical of Sixtus. But what the hell are they planning? I couldn't understand the specifics, but it involves the Medici. And it begins tomorrow morning at the Duomo. The Medici will all be there for Sunday service. Along with the rest of Firenze. So they're gonna kill everyone. I'm going to do it right in the middle of high mass. But it's also a chance for me to blend with the crowd. Get close and stop this madness. If they succeed. If we lose Lorenzo and Firenze falls to the Pazzi. It will not come to that. I promise. I hope you are right. We do not need hope, for I am immortal. He's a really good thief. He just teleports away. Taking a quick glance around. Yep, there's another one. Another tomb. At least... Don't think it's the same tomb. Yeah, because we started off over here. So we'll go decode the few codexes we got. Then we'll do the mission. Uh, what is that? Ah, I can loot this. I don't know what the maximum capacity of the villa chest is. I think it said that the capacity increases along with, like, the upgrades you do, so... Neat. Isn't that illegal? Nothing's illegal if you don't get caught. For like the rest of your life. For your next act, you swallow Why? swords, right? Why would you Sorry, I'll, go. I'll wait for them to with mine if you like. Yes. Well Dang it, I didn't do a double assassination. If I did do a single assassination. Come on, that was totally a counter. This might not be a codex, but it is money. Because the first thing I'm going to do when we get back to the villa is try to upgrade the blacksmith and buy what I can because you get a discount at the uh, all the shops there, depending on how much they're upgraded. Dang you. Agile, but still failed at that. And I still stabbed you in the nuts. I should probably do more sword fighting because, you know, it's part of the game. I'm stealing and thieving. You can't stop me. I am the running man. And the doctor doesn't care. 
because he's a good doctor. It's not what I wanted at all. Couldn't obey the law. You must die. Couldn't obey the law. You must die. That's not what I. Oh. Invisible walls, my favorite. And luckily, their rocks aren't super honed in in this game as well. Which is makes it a bit fairer, all things considered. And are they still watching over my family's palazzo? What, do they think I'm going to come back? It's been like a year since the whole execution debacle. Would the police actually keep a lookout on a place for a year, waiting for you to come back? That seems silly. I wonder if Christina even exists anymore. <coughs> knock, knock. Leonardo, Ezio. I so have a few see. more codexes. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found another one. How exciting! Is this an inverted Caesar shift? If I just substitute these letters here, I've got it. Super easy for the boy. Two more have been decoded. I'll go ahead, rip that off. I will. Uh, let's begin. Prevent the conspirators from attacking the Medici family. There's Lorenzo, his wife. It's like celebrities going to mass. There's Giuliano, Lorenzo's brother. Where is Francesco? There he is. After strike. They're just gonna attack him in midday. And you're not doing anything? You're just Everyone's just letting this happen. <laughs> he enjoyed that way too much. Your day is done, Lorenzo. Your entire family dies. This is not a subtle. Die. Dang it. Die. I need to kill everyone. Die. <laughs> Straight to the dick. Very rude. You. I shouldn't get notoriety for this. I'm literally protecting an innocent man. Game is very rude with the counters, but oh well. Your entire plan has fallen. Very rude. Game. That was a counter and it just decided to break it. I think the game is being rude.
Throw to the ground. Combo him. Die, take this, boss man. So yeah, I think it literally wouldn't let me counter with the hidden blade on this guy. Uh... Game was rude. It cheated me. Double this guy game. Uh, it says defend, but he ran away. I don't know if the game wants of me. I could have killed him right there. He was stuck between me and a plant. But the man who did this to you has to pay. Not now. I need help first. To my home. People I trust there. Can you? I'll need to defend him all the way. This way. They set, set a fire on, in the way. I'm moving as fast as I can. So there's betrayers everywhere. Be gone. Not him. This guy. Game. We're almost there. On me. We have to take down all the corrupt guards, of which the normal guards refuse to do anything about. And now they're all fleeing because they realize they've been routed. Oh, never mind. That guy still wants to fight. Come on. Fight a man who's actually capable of fighting. Still love that this is getting me notoriety. I'm defending a guy from being attacked. I'm more than capable of cutting. Is this way blocked? Does not seem to be entirely. Apparently just a whole army decided to come out. Uh, no hitter. No idea what that qualification is. I'm more than capable of Very rude. Die. I had hoped to be avoided. So be it. I'm more than capable of But luckily your guard is better than their guard. Alright, these Lorenzo's been wounded! Aprite la porta! What's the password? Polizia! Open the maletic door! <laughs> Open the fucking door! Come in, quickly! The city is at war! Hurry! At least he tried to follow proper Wait. procedure. I am in your debt. Tell me, why did you help me? I oppose you the Pazzi. You are not the only one who lost a brother to the Pazzi. My name is Ezio Auditore. Ah. Your Giovanni's son. Your father was a good man. He understood honor, loyalty. The Pazzi thugs are storming the Palazzo della Signoria. We cannot hold them off much longer. No. If they get inside, they'll murder our supporters and put their own devils in power. Then my Politics seem that. very flimsy in I this time. To... Uh, uh, Francesco de Pazzi. Help save our city, Auditore. Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> I do find it fun funny that this rich guy is basically just ordering me to kill a guy. Yeah, let's go on. Get on with it. Signore, I saw Francesco lead a nice battle black eye. The back of Shows the that you've been fighting. Signoria. I fear he may be seeking another way in. Go, before it's too late. Do what you can. Find and kill Francesco de Pazzi. Let's read about him. Francesco de Pazzi. Ooh, neat. Brought up as a noble in a city captivated by the newly rich Medici family, Francesco was taught to hate the middle class. 
and its social climbers. Dismayed, he watched as the Medici Bank eclipsed his own, and centuries of influence over the Florentine government slipped away. It looks like the Spaniard offered him a solution. Rather than compete in something as dirty as banking, Francesco only had to do one thing for the Templars, one thing to put the middle class in their place for good. Kill the Medici. Giovanni Aldatore tried to stop Francesco by putting him in jail. Very but the uh, Templars took grotesque care of that. a bit there. Just the eyes. <laughs> he doesn't get words. He gets a whole scrawl. You really should. Let the people, he doesn't care about the people. He wants all the people to die. All the way over there. I do find it funny that in the midst of all this, there is chaos in the streets. Eh, for all. And not that many people beyond the fighting in the streets. They're not even, like, fighting to take key places. They're just fighting. There's not what I wanted. I wanted game, please. I command thee to be game. Time to game the game. Gamers. Utter chaos. You again? Why aren't you dead? Man, slaughter him! Climb it again. Whee! This time. I just blink and he's gone. Yeah, because I'm on a wall. I don't even know how you saw me. Where has our pigeon flown? You're supposed to give up eventually. Remember. Because I'll have to kill them because they're being odd. Be gone. That's not what I wanted, but oh well. Will they? You do enjoy no Terry Pratchett, coming. don't you? It's just us now. Maledetto che il diavolo ti porti! Stami lontano! Okay, very rude. Guard coming out of nowhere. Big off. I didn't have to use my throwing knives to slow him down. Although I think they fixed that and you can kill them, however, in this game. Maybe. Maybe. It's over. It's all no, it's over. only just beginning. Resquiescat in pace. Elio essere felici in questa vita e aspirare a esserlo nella prossima. Requiescat in pace. Haha, <laughs> Jacopo. And then I come through with Francesco's head. Or just hang him. How do you even get up there?
I was gonna kill that guy. That guy. Game. Come on, I can air assassinate him. I can air assassinate him, come on! He's a guy! I'm locked on to him, let me kill him! Very rude game. The problem with using dead bodies is you have to kill someone, then you need to drag the body into a place that's visible by the guards, unless they're like a patrol. And that was like two years later. Now, hmm. Because it. Guess there has been a bit of political upheaval. I hit the button because I'm a fool. I wonder what they were even libertine about. Liberty! Liberty! Yet the Medici haven't really done anything bad, as far as I'm aware. I think we'll go to the fast travel station to spend and collect money. At the villa. Then we'll come back, do the tomb. Ah, and our notoriety went down because it has been two years. Yep, we definitely need to head back before Claudia starts skimming off the top, as she said that she would. Granted, she says it's because if it starts to overflow, she'll take what's not being taken to the bank. Because she refuses to take it to the bank. Because she's a jerk. Take me to the villa for a hundred. That's why. That's a fifth of bribing a public speaker. It's practically a steal. My first priority should... Hmm, I don't know. We'll talk to, like, the bank. See what the bank has to offer. A special assassin to my con has been added to the map, revealing the entrance to the Auditore family clip. Looks like... Actually, it looks like the bank isn't an actual place you can visit. Guess it makes sense. We'll gather... <laughs> Sanctuary. We'll gather the money, invest the money. Hmm. Because we'll have to... De it'll depend on a lot of things. I collect the income. Almost 10,000 florins. Buongiorno. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall, Shall we, we take, take a, a look at the list? Because the mines would take 4,000, 8,000, uh, 12,000. Whereas the blacksmith would take. 19,000 itself. Well, what do a bank even do? It's just greatly increased value. I'll upgrade it once because that way better delete. Then I'll renovate everything else. Then the bank. If we can. And that leaves us with 7,000 that I shall spend at the blacksmith. The value went up quite a lot. What is my income now? Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? The big, big book. We have done 35% because, yeah, a lot of the money probably does come from, like... The buying paintings as well. Having a functional diddly d. Codex wall. Can I add to the codex wall? There we go. The 
da, da. at least align the edges properly like so that we can then get to doesn't help that we don't know what actually goes there but it does seem to be a map of some kind maybe of the new world we'll have to wait and see till we get more codex pages we'll drop off feathers And then again, see what's available at the blacksmith. Because I think we only have like one or two feathers to drop in. Apparently five feathers. Around-ish. We'll check out the blacksmith, do the tomb, but it's the, uh, it's the auditory family tomb, right? So it shouldn't do much. Should it? It is Assassin Tomb, so maybe. We'll check out the blacksmith. The villa has been slightly renovated because of my actions. Fan braces. Leather chest guard. Spalders. But that's even a better chest guard. So... I guess I'll get to these spalders with the money I have. Granted, we'll probably want to get all of the armory so that the villa can be extra super duper special. And I think I heard thunder in the real world because I think I heard it before as well. Oh yeah, I think when I originally played this game, I saw that door and it was just like, oh, you need like you play points things. Well, that was when, like, our Xbox wasn't connected to the internet. Now I get to experience this. Because why not? Explore the auditory family crypt. Why not? I was raised in a small house by the Venetian lagoon within sight of the rough foam-capped waves of the sea. When I was barely old enough to walk, I became a sailor, navigating the Atlantic first as an apprentice and then while carrying cargo for my father's patron, Massa Marco Polo. <laughs> it was a good life. Of course, Marco Polo. Why wouldn't he be tied to assassins? I just need to properly see which way to go. Apparently, people tried to come in here, like me, and they died there somehow. Good for them. One day, while ashore in the harbor looking for work, I fell in love. She was barely twenty, but when I looked into her eyes, the whole world was reflected back, clearer and brighter than the sun. After that, I still went to sea, but my heart remained on land with the girl who had become my wife and our young son. Interesting. Obviously, it's here. We can interact with it. Better not be timed, because I don't like timed stuff. It's timed. Hate you. I do not like timed stuff. It just puts me on edge. Get Game! Fuck off, game. That's bullshit. Even though there's a clearly lined place, we're gonna fucking throw you in a random direction. Because we were made by idiots, apparently. How dare. I did read this, right? Good. Well, at least one thing came of that. I didn't read this. One afternoon that summer, Messer Polo called me into his study. 
My father was already there, beside an older man, dressed in a strange hooded cape, watching us. At that moment, everything about my life changed. My father told me that he was an assassin. Removing his ring, he showed me a strange marking on his finger, explaining that our family came from an ancient order that protected and defended mankind. He paused, and then when I didn't speak, Mr. Polo stepped forward. He told me that the man in the strange hood would teach me, and in return I would carry him across the Mediterranean to Spain. And so began my apprenticeship with Dante Alighieri, one that was brought... Uh, one that was to destroy every bit of happiness I would ever have. Harsh. But yeah, do not like timed things purely because timed things only really work if the game is properly built for it. And this game really isn't built for proper speed because it's like, ooh, lol, I'm gonna throw you about because fuck you. If you try to be efficient, it just says fuck you. That's what I don't like. In preparation for our voyage, Messer Alagahiri met me with me repeatedly. At first our meetings were about purchasing supplies, but soon they became about higher things, about life, love, honor, and justice. He taught me that society was set up in such a way as to control its members, to stop us from thinking, from seeing. Soon I could look past all the laws and illusions. I understood that mankind was being used by its rulers, that we, the people, deserved freedom. It was then that Dante began showing me pages from a book that Messer Polo had brought back from the place of the great Genghis Khan. The manuscript, the Codex, was about our order, the assassins. So was Genghis Khan an assassin? I don't think so. I'd think he'd be more of a Templar. Then again, maybe he was. You'd think they'd be more Templar because conquer, conquer. But who knows, maybe it's like, I'm going to be an assassin out in the open. Conquer them with my army. Ah, and then that door opens. Uh... Very rude. Aha, this is why. The camera kind of guides you, but at the same time is kind of rude. Get! <laughs> Fuck off, game. Please. <laughs> Yes, there was a treasure chest, but I honestly don't care. The time thing annoys me far more. Our planned voyage never took place. While returning to the Ravana to pick up the remainder of his belongings, Dante died. Dismayed at the loss of my mentor, I went to inform my father and Mr. Polo of the sad news. Before I could even speak, I was ushered into the setting, and my father, his face white, locked the door behind me. Shocked, I listened. In silence as he spoke, Dante intended to take the Codex to Spain where it would be safe, but he was being watched. The enemy of the Assassins, the Knights Templar, still existed. I recalled the stories he had told me of the Templars and all became clear. Dante had been murdered. The Templars knew about the Codex and they knew about us, shaking. My father told me to take the Codex and leave for Spain at once with my wife and child. As Mr. Polo ushered me out the door, he handed me a small piece of paper with a number on it. With this number, I could draw on his credit more ducats than I had ever seen in my life at any bank in Italy. Interesting. Alrighty, I think I understand. Now if the game will function, things shouldn't be bad. But that all depends on the game. Fucking <laughs> functioning. We set sail that night, the ship filled with cargo to sell in the markets at Barcelona. At first, as all was well, then to avoid a coming storm, we laid anchor in the Otranto Harbor. Cloaked in the darkness, the parts came. I didn't see them until they were already boarding my ship. I hid with my family in the hold. Pulling out the codex, I ran the worn leather cover through my hands. Then I broke the spine. The pages slid silently onto the floor. I scattered them into chests, boxes, and containers I was carrying to the market. 
The men who found us were drunk. I could smell it on their breath. When they asked for the codex, I knew who had sent them. Holding back my rage, I said that I had thrown it overboard. They started to laugh. Two held me down, still grinning, while the rest cut off my wife's clothes. She begged for mercy until her voice gave out. Once they were done, they threw her into the sea. They took my cargo and sunk my ship and left me adrift, clinging to a piece of railing. I made it to the beach with my son. My wife's body washed up on the shore next to m the next morning with the tide. Very fucking dark game. And they're like, yeah, this is the content we'll put as a, like, downloadable extra with the Uplay. A lovely story of family! I think I understand. I kind of blinked there for a moment. Game, I hit you! The context... Since it... I hate you, game. I wish it would fuck around... Less. I hate this. This is why I don't like frickin' diddly d contextual speed bullshit. Because the game is still stupid at times. I hate it. Nah. Game, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> climb this that nobody would ever want to fucking climb. Dipshit game. Once again. Who knows? Maybe it was just the design of the dungeon. Because it is you play extra extra bullshit, so maybe it's poorly made. They gave it to the B team in Barcelona. Open the door. And what's the last one have to say? A new name. I never saw the sea again. Making my way to Florence, I rented a small room and then visited the bank. I'd memorized Polo's n account number. When the vast sum I now had at my disposal, I went to Venice in disguise to find my father. I returned to Florence the next day. Both Polo and my father were already dead. From that moment forward, I collected treaties and uh, treatises and architecture, studied the f classics, and took vocal lessons. I adopted the name Auditore, impersonating a noble at the Florentine court. Accepted as one of their own, I took on the trappings of a noble and constructed this villa for me and my son. And then I hunted them. I raised my son to fight, to find the Codex, and to kill the Templars. Together we would regain the honor of my wife and avenge the death of my father. Two debts that would never, that would never, that could never be repaid. To the auditore that reads this, remember that you are not a nobleman. You are not one of the deceivers. You are one of the people. Avenge us. And what is he in he here at the end? What is the treasure? Again, kind of disappointing that this was added as you play bullshit. Again, the contextual run run is stupid. I hate it. When it just decides to not work. Loathsome, all of it. But it's still an interesting little bit that I feel is kind of odd that it's just like, oh, you have to use you play and just never add it to the base game. So yeah, just money. That's all it is. And a little story. Hmm. Odd, odd, odd. Memory synced, family crypt explored. <coughs> At least I got lots of money for it. But yeah, whenever the game is like, oh yeah, you, you, we could go in the direction of the actual thing. That you want to jump to. But we're not going to do that. Because we're assholes. Interesting. Speaking of that, I actually think that... Since we renovated the mines, there should be treasure there too. At least treasure. Or maybe it's just minor shenanigans. Game, quit taking control of my goddamn camera away. I hate it. And you always do it for stupid bullshit. <laughs> and I hate it. Like there. Quit taking control of my camera! I hate it! 
It's to guide you, but then you fuck it up. I hate it. It's to guide you so that you better understand where you need to go. Because we at you play, Ubisoft think you're a fucking idiot. And sometimes it's hard to tell what kind of grabby grabs there are when they fuck with the camera. It's just annoying. Stop it. Don't do it. Don't fuck with the camera. And when your players are playing the goddamn game. It's stupid. It is just very rude to take away control of the camera unless you know precisely what you're doing. And there, they didn't know what they were doing. I always want it at my back so I can actually know where the fucking hell I'm going, game. And then the game is like, oh, we're going to have this weird Dutch angle. So you can kind of see where you're going and the place that we want you to go. And then the camera's contextualness will send you flying off into the abyss. It's stupid. Stop. Don't fuck with the camera. When you make a game, it's a 3D game. Don't take control of the camera. Like, sure, have a, oh, hey, you can center the camera button that then can return to the angle that you want to show your players so that if they want to, they can go, oh, that's where I'm supposed to go. But don't fucking steal the fucking camera away. Don't ever fucking do that. It's stupid. It's stupid. Usually just breaks shit. Stop. Don't fucking do it. I hate it so much. Because the majority of the time, nothing good comes from it. It just makes it so you're like, okay, can I do this? And it's like, oh, no, you didn't do what we wanted you to do. Because it's almost like the player wants to control the camera so they can better ascertain their position. And with you fucking with it, it makes it nearly impossible for the player to get all the information they want before continuing. As it makes sense if it's a, oh, we need to go super fast, it's a time trial. But if it's just a goddamn motherfucking normal little biddly diddly, fuck off. Stop stealing camera control away. Oh, but I want to show the player. There's like, it's a small cave. Where the fuck do you think I'm going to go in a small cave? I'm going to go the cave. <laughs> fuck off. Stop stealing control the fuck away. If it's a small, like, again, if it is just a small little area, don't mess up the camera. If it's a timed thing, sure, you can do the guidey thing and kind of tilt the camera in the way the player needs to go because that could help. And the kind of area is designed for it. That wasn't designed for it. It's just an area. But then the players, the people who are designing it thought that you were stupid. And they're like, oh, the players are probably very fucking dumb. We need to assume that they're dumb at all times. Because it's the players that dumb, not... Mm, yes, indeed, and totally not me, the designer, who probably shouldn't be designing anything ever. <laughs> I am very angry at that just small little thing, because it was not needed. It was not needed at all. Because guess what? I would stand there, I'd pan the camera, I'd go, Aha! There is shit on the wall. That must be where I must go. When the game just goes, oh, we're going to have this weird camera angle that doesn't make any fucking sense. To the point that you don't know if that's just wood decoration or if that's wood handhold. This game is better than Assassin's Creed 1 in tele telegraphing what you can and can't climb. But still, wood does not automatically mean, oh yeah, I can climb that. And plus, I just have a major gripe when it comes to messing with the camera. Motherfucking game. Stop. Stop it, game. Fuck off. I just want to go and do the thing. Why is it whenever I do want to jump off a building, the game's like, No! 
don't jump. But then when I'm actually just trying to free run in a general direction, the game is like, oh, you want to fly to your death? Sure! It's almost like the contextualness was made by a bad designer. Because again, if... It's just, it should be simple. Game detect. Is player in place where they can go somewhere? Yes, no. If yes, let them fucking go there. If no, make it so they have to kind of work for it a bit more. Because who knows, maybe they have a path that isn't designed. Then again, it would just be nice if I could just reach out to the little handholds. And then the game is like, no, you can't reach out to the handholds. We didn't design it like that. Utterly infuriating. But give me this chest. I'm stealing from the people because I am an assassin and I have investing to do. I just want to grab some extra spending money. That's all I want to do. Then the question is, is it up here or is it down there? You can never tell. Considering there's a wooden bar. Presumably up here. And luckily I don't have to kill my own people. You're not supposed to be up here. Ah, we don't even have guards. You'd think we would be... <laughs> then again, we do have the mercenaries, but they're not really like guards, so... I wonder who takes care of, like, crime and not outright invasion. And plus, I wonder if restoring the church did anything. I don't even remember where the church is. I think that's the church. But bitty bow, we're gonna grab the money, renovate more. Basically, try to make it so that we get all the renovating done as much as possible. And then start buying up armor, weapons, and uh, paintings. Fear me. For I am the Hulk. And the villa looks slightly better. It doesn't look like a haunted mansion anymore. Huzzah! Now we have a decent money to do things with. Let's Buongiorno. interact with the architect. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? Indeed. The list says kill you. Time to murder the man. Maybe blacksmith, but then, because th this greatly increases the city's value. Because we do nine, then may maybe we'd have enough to do an upgrade to the art. So yeah, we'll upgrade the bank, just so that we get a big boost. And then we'll upgrade the art merchant. And now I am poor. Oh, and apparently that was enough to renovate things even further. We'll put some more feathers away. Hello, mother. Have some more feathers to tend to your psyche. I still find it hilarious that feathers increase the value of this place. And then I guess we'll also put in the Darius diddly because maybe that will increase the city's value. I doubt it but you never know. I think it was it was you wasn't it? I have no idea how that lock works but sure. Sadness. It didn't look like it increased the value. Oh, it did. Really should increase the value even more, but... Oh, well. Yes, yes. Codex wall. We've all seen it. It's right there. It's a wall. I 
And then I guess we'll check out the paintings on the way out. There probably isn't... Uh, but at the same time, we should problem. I don't know. Do we even have a tailor? We do have a tailor. What upgrades can I get at the tailor? We can't get anything, obviously. We could get more knives. Take a look at the paintings, at the painter. I will find something more to your liking next time. It's more that I just want to save my money. We have lots and lots of mercenaries, courtesans, and thieves. Not that many normal people. Hello, travel man. Take me to Florence. Just take me to Leonardo's workshop so I can plan how I want to go about from there. But with all that done, we saved a city. Once again, it's been two years in Florence time. Fear the Florence time. I do also find it interesting that they decided to make it the system about buying armor rather than synchronizing by doing stuff. Hmm. hmm. There's a Templar lair. An assassin tomb. I guess we might as well do that. Do those two things. Get them squared away. Unconverted woolens. Then again, the assassin tomb is just right here, so. Guess we might as well do this. What will open up this time? Just the wall. Okay. That's highly advanced. The entire wall just went floof. How the hell? This is Renaissance Italy. Like, beyond. At least we get to go inside, which is interesting. I don't think we needed to uh, come in through the assassin way. Oh, it's because they're... The yeah. <laughs> and when your men paint the dome, take care not to disturb any of the sacred relics in the lanterna on top. They are the most important artifacts in our interesting. church. Interesting. Yes, yes, Padre. Just make sure to pay us the full sum for our work. So I have to sneak in. Because they don't want anyone else coming in. Which is interesting. Kind of makes the assassin tomb part kind of silly. Explore Basilica Santa Maria del Fiore and find the assassin seal hidden within. Time to disturb everything. And probably create a historical incident. Find the sarcophagus. Why does this place even have to be so big? Mutterly maddening. Hmm. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like we can make it over here, so we need to jump from here to here. Interesting that it's showing birds, when normally those have a specific connotation in this world. Attack of the ladder! Now I have a checkpoint. Ben. Nice. Now I have a way back up in case I fall. Did your voice change? That sounded like an older Ezio. That like sounded like Brotherhood Ezio. See, now this is the kind of platforming I like. I can take my time, align myself, have control of my camera! I think the birds are here to kind of guide me. Go follow the birds. They tell you where to go.
would be funny if I had to fight artists. He's distorting the portraits. Kill him! They whip out brushes that are sharpened. Start stabbing me. You've heard of the Knights Templar? They're the Knights Artiste. Another way back up. If only I had a grappling hook. Now that just looks very complicated. And that looks very trippy. And we saw that before, yes. Follow the birds. The birds will surely lead us to a happy place. There is a giant cross, which is tempting to smash. We go this way to climb up even further. Very convenient that all this construction is going on at this place so that we can look for the assassin seal. You'd think that like an order of assassin monks would live here. Guess we come over here because there are birds. And we follow the birds. I keep forgetting that Ezio has mad ups compared to Ezio. I mean, compared to Altair. Ezio compared to Ezio. Considering there are three games with him, not an incorrect phrase in totality. Does seem kind of scattershot in the construction materials and placements of things. I guess. Oh yeah, because these are being reconstructed, so there's tarp underneath, so I can't get a foothold or grab hold. Hand hold. I must grab with my feet. Then again, no idea why I couldn't just grab the uh, the construction wood there. Maybe because I was afraid it would fall. I don't know. Ezio is Italian. His sensibilities could be odd. You can never know. The Italian. Knock, knock, it's me. Robin Hood. What is this even doing here? What even is that? Yes, I want the altar to be put all the way up there. Nice that we can flippy, flippy, flip. Flippy, flip around. See, now this is fun free running. When the free running works, it's good. When it's not, I'm gonna fly off into the sun, mother. That's when it's bad. I took away control of my camera again. I hate it. Ah, that's why. Because specifically wanted me to climb all the way up here. Funnily, probably would have discovered that quicker if it didn't take away control of my camera. Because I'm hung up on it taking away control of my camera now. So whenever it does that, my initial thing is going to be... <laughs> Anger. Why would you even have construction up here with no easy way to get up here? Utter madness. And just up here, a statue. And a bunch of chests. If this is an assassin tomb, why is it hard for an assassin to get in here? Uh, now I take the diddly dee. Amusing that there are two in Florence alone. <laughs> and then a window. Does that. So what you're telling me is I could have just smashed a window and gotten the same effect. Anger. Anger. 
And now we go through the loading. Guards change shifts at dusk and dawn. Plan missions accordingly. You know, because apparently there's a clock. I doubt there's a clock. Would be nice if there was a clock. They're like, oh, you should plan it by the sun. Nobody does that. Uh, obviously, there's going to be like there's one person who's like the ultimate pinnacle Assassin Creed player. Who like take it takes advantage of everything. I just want to make sure I actually did get that one in this playthrough. So this is technically where you were supposed to get those. And then of course we're gonna reset our diddly d so we can go do the Templar lair because why not? And maybe along the way we can take a look, see of like any kind of arts there are. If we f run across a painter, because why not? No one shall know true peace. No one. Not even you. So rise up, murder God. Any treasure maps? No treasure maps. But there is St. John the Baptist, who, with a small edit, would be uh, giving you the finger. This one's nicer. Even the game agrees. But now he's too expensive, him and his stupid hair. A pleasure. Grazie for your business. So that painting was worth eight? Frickin' <laughs> eight feathers? That painting's worth eight feathers. I don't think I've ever done this. I don't know what a Templar lair is. Is it a arena fight? Is it a sneaky sneaky? It's telling me how to taunt, so I don't know. Maybe it's combat? Maybe it's stealth? I've never done this before. Home invasion. In 1479, infiltrate Palazzo Medici and save Lorenzo from the temp... Well, we're not that far off. It's like a year in the future. So it is going to be an arena fight. And not puzzle. Or is it going to be puzzle? This is supposed to be a Templar lair. Signor Lorenzo! Lorenzo's currently indisposed. Hey, you're the one who killed Francesco de Pazzi. Get him. With pleasure. With pleasure. Uh, you taught terribly. Whoop. Punch to the face. Dang. Oh, that worked. Yay. Sword has good uh, counterattack scaling. Kick to the nuts. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just... Oh, you don't like that, do you? Punch to the face. Will you let me grab you now? How dare you. Come on, let me grab you. Fine, I'll just do this. Die. Too much health on you. Apparently I can pick up their weapons. I'll loot you. Oh, throwing knives. Good. I was running low on those. So, yeah. General enemies, use sword. Uh, enemies that are being bastards, uh, throw, uh, kill. Kill. Apparently I need to find a way up. Would be nice if... Well, maybe I'll just go through the door. Can I go through the door? Can I knock? Can I knock on the door? Maybe it wants me to climb the statue. Does not want me to climb statue. I don't even really see anything that can adequately be climbed unless... Ah, nope. Where's a starting climbing point? Doesn't seem to be any. Ah, here's the starting climbing point. In a very specific part of the house. But yeah, I haven't never done this. So is this another you play thing? Like, hey, you play and you get extra missions. I could see that. 
interesting that this one actually had, like, voice acting to it. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. So there's sneaking and combat. So do they want me to stealth this? Or can I just kill them? There are two guys in here. What is your business here? Stop. Echo you won't escape. Fine, I'll assassinate. Kind of annoying that the game is like, oh yeah, you're up on the roof. They're totally gonna see you. Show me a guard in Italy in 1479 that's going to look up and be like, there's a dude up there. So who are they fighting normally, the Batman? Then again, they are Templars. Would not surprise me if Batman was like modern day fighting the Templars. Obviously, I need to go over there. Oh, I can. I just didn't expect the wall trimmings to be of a viable source of uh, climb. Don't know why he would have a secret passage that's an ass to get to, but okay. But here's Shiny. I know I heard a noise down there. It's time to earn your Florence. I want half of you to search the courtyard. The other half come with me to check the chapel. See, si, Capitano. Then we check the secret passageways. What about Lorenzo? By now, Lorenzo is already dead. I don't believe you. They're just going to pass on by and I'll be able to double assassinate them, potentially. Uh, there we go, little boys. Come here. No, no, no. And now I will loot you for more knives. Ah, instant reimbursement. I really should loot the guard bodies more for knives. Because you just, you know, just make things simpler. And I'll explore down this way. Door. I'm going to expect a door. Huh. So they did come down here to investigate, it seems. Good. Good for them. Also, why is the ground floor, like, horribly not furnished? But this place is like a palace? I don't understand it. Hello, friends. Uh, being an assassin is very hard these days. Cameras everywhere, just being terrible. What you got to say, friend? Death, death for you too. I doubt I'll just be able to go through the door. I don't even try it, because I am Ezio and I am very smart. Whenever I see a door, I just assume that it is locked, because trying to open doors is for Templars. I'm an assassin. <laughs> That's Ezio's inner voice. It's canon. 
I know because I'm the director of canonness within the games. Don't worry about it. Going to assume game. Ah, here we go. I said, here we go. Here we go. Game. It's obviously meant to be grabbing the fucking chandelier, so grab the goddamn chandelier, you asshole! Please! Grab the chandelier! Because I don't see anything else that is grabbable. Grab. Grab. Ah, it's because they don't want you to do the smart thing. They're like, oh yeah, flimsy bar that just doesn't exist anywhere else. Sure, asshole game. I do things smart, but you say no. Game, you are a duck. Why would anyone want to grab onto the railings like that? No, bad game. Very bad game. Control better blocks. To the secret room. Lorenzo! Porca vaca! Someone, find a way to get inside there! You heard him? You two, get a ladder! <laughs> get a ladder! What are we doing with the ladder? Lorenzo isn't coming out. What's taking them so long? I don't know. I haven't killed them. I know. If you both weren't so loud, he wouldn't have heard us coming. <laughs> I'll go ahead and come on. Hug me. Dang it. I have no idea how to fight big guys. I haven't had the tutorial yet. Dang it. Come on, I want to do it. I want to do it good. But the... Uh, it's a very tight timing, but it is good. I wonder, are they paid more? Do they have more on their bodies? What is your paycheck? Um, just another throwing knife. You know, for their fancy armor, you'd think they'd have a uh, bigger paycheck, all things considered. And the question is, how do I get up there? And how the game expects me to. Ah, through this. But you can't just make things simple. We have to make things hard. Game, please. This is why I don't like it when games take f the fucking control away from my camera. Look at what we want you to look at, and then you're gonna fucking ruin my eyesight. Stare into the sun. Game, once again. Are they back with the ladder? They are not back up the ladder. They're going to be surprised. Once again, I know where to... Once again, stop messing with the camera. Jesus fucking Christ. Designers, they're like, mess with the camera. They're bad. Fire them immediately. If anybody says, take camera away from player, fire them. Unless it is for a cutscene. Stop. Never, ever, ever take control of the camera unless under very specific circumstances. Please! Get back! It's me. Lower your sword. It's me. Ezio. Again you save me. First they enter my church, now my home. I'll hunt them down. They won't come near you again. Look around you. This is one of my treasure rooms. The room is made of treasure. Take anything you wish from it, in thanks for what you've done. I trust my apartments are safe now. Yes, Signore. Is that a tie to Assassin's Origins? 
I must go. But I will come to you again when all the Pazzi are dead. I will not forget what you've done for me. Buona fortuna. But it is kind of amusing that there's an Anubis statue right there. And later on, like, how long in the future did, uh, when did Odyssey, uh, not Odyssey, but Origins come out? What's even in here? Because again, I've never done that before. What did I get? Just money? Interesting. I've never done that one before. I, but it's like, isn't that like the perfect showing of how taking control of the camera away from the player fucks with the controls? In which the first time that I went through it to air assassinate one of the big boys, so I didn't have to worry about big boys, one of the big boys during the fight, I did it flawlessly. And then they're like, I'm going to look up for no reason because this is an Assassin's Creed game and we need to punish stealth. But then the second time, when they f fucked with my camera, because they're assholes and terrible game designers. But it doesn't look like there's anything. I guess we could try and go do the, ch the race, because why not get the city done relatively? But yeah. It's like the game screwed me up by fucking with the camera. In which, in, literally, minutes earlier, I managed to go through without the camera being fucked with. That is just the perfect showing. Stop fucking with the camera. If you have a camera system in your game and you give it to the player, let the player control the camera. Because they're going to play the game however they want. If you need to show something, have it be a little cutscene. Hey, you, you do not c take control of the camera while the player is playing the goddamn game. You just do not fucking do it. You don't. You do not do it. To do it is to be an asshole. I just need a little bit of money. Then I can get that other painting. But yeah, just infinitely... The offhand, like, one in a billion chance that, like, a, a game developer, designer person is listening to this because they've lost their mind. Don't take control of the camera while the player is playing the game. It serves no adequate purpose. Like, no purpose that makes any kind of sense. Telekinesis, my love. But yeah, just don't don't take control of the camera. It's not a good idea. It just gets in the way of shit. Please. It just gets in the way. You wanna die? Come on. Prepare to die. Like this guy. He's dead. Run! How, did that guy become bloody by my counterattack? I think he did, for some reason. That's a hammer. Good for you. Luckily, I have lots of deflecting power. Stab. And I'll take money from you. And your ragdoll. And now I can hopefully buy that other painting. I can. Hell yeah. A pleasure, sir. Come again. Yeah, but now my mind is just locked on to taking away camera is evil. Taking away camera is evil. I hate it. Just never, ever, ever, ever take control of the camera in a 3D action game. Especially one in which looking is important for the controls. 
It just makes no bloody sense. If you do it, you're a terrible person. I'm gonna hunt you down and eat your eat all of your olives. You'll never be able to eat an olive in another day of your life, because they'll all have been eaten by me. Asshole. Hello, thief. I can outrun anyone in this distress. I hear you the best. Prove it. Prove it. But you're a poor man. He's just a poor boy. I'm going to beat him to death. I need to keep an eye on the minimap. Bloody pedestrians in the way of my running contest with a thief. Don't they know that's the path we've chosen for the racing game? Fuck off, game. Game, you're an asshole. Fuck off. <laughs> that is stupid. Why would you do that? Game did the stupid again. I think this game was specifically made by the thief to fuck with the control so that he would always win. Maybe it's some prideful developer. I don't want them to beat my time trial. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of making the game fun, I'm gonna make it bullshit. Don't know why I made him British. Maybe it's because they're all a bunch of cheapskates. Um. Ah, he's down there. I only buy from Villa Auditore. I somehow did it and only earned a hundred dollars. But I did get an achievement for it, so I guess that made it a bit better than what it otherwise would have been. See, it's already paying off for playing the PlayStation version. I haven't run into a... A thief. Or a... Hmm. Before we truly go... Let me see. Database, 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 database. Locations. Oh, we, yeah, this place is completely done. There's two missing entries, but we've done the glyphs and the assassins. Diddly dees. So, Florence is done! Unless we want to, like, buy out all the paintings and stuff. So which part of your pathetic anatomy would you like to lose first? Future then. Capito? Oh, sinking in? He doesn't oh. even care that I drew my sword. Yeah, I blame the parents. They don't take the time. Careful. <laughs> I blame the parents. What on earth? Ah, he, he's dead. Don't worry about it. They don't need that anymore. Speaking of... Give me your money. I do wish that pickpocketing was a little less finicky. It's like you need to run into them at just the right angle or else they just don't activate. Arrgh, yourself. Ah, Lorenzo. I spoke. I, I already saved you. Nice to speak to you again. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down into darkness certain my life was at an end at six years old faced mortality instead I woke to the sound of my mother weeping at her side stood a stranger soaking and smiling at me my mother explained that he had saved me and so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families yours and mine. And I've never met you before. I'm sorry I could not see Such long and prosperous. Blood. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. The attack on you as I well. mean, he is de uh, a de Pazzi, need so he needs to die. Fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. Like those priestmen. If they work with Jacobo, and that, uh... Surely Fat guy in the, in the red cloak. My family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei, Archbishop Francesco Salviati. An Archbishop. Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Baroncelli. Then, I will go and see my uncle. 
He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. Ah, codex. codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi. Seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. Antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. <laughs> que el Signore ci protega. Safety and peace, Lorenzo de Medici. Guess I have to go get it decoded. And then I think I'll run around Tuscany, because I don't think we're going to go back to Tuscany. Tuscany felt weird. More beat-up events unlocked? Where? Yes, yes, yes. He's a man. But instead of beat-up... An assassination a contract? I did not know that I am an assassination contract man now. Said beat up events, yet I don't see any. Are they covered up underneath anything? Maybe there are beat up events in Tuscany. Or maybe the beat up events are the assassination contracts. Well, might as well take the assassination contract, why not? The Pazzi Conspirators. Jacopo di Pazzi, the money. This guy was the head of the Pazzi family, and he ran their banking business. An associate of Lorenzo de' Medici, he had nothing against him personally, so he hired four Templar hitmen to take care of the situation for him. Bernardo di Bandino Baroncelli, brought up to hate the Medici family for the exile of his cousins, Baroncelli ran the numbers in the Pazzi bank by day, and murdered for the Templars at night. It was Baroncelli who delivered the first blow. Stefano de Bagnone, known for his cruelty, Bagnone was trained in Rome as a Templar Yeesh. butcher. It was Bagnone who stabbed Lorenzo de' Medici in the back. Antonio Maffei, witness to the sacking of Volterra by Florentine mercenaries, Maffei blamed Lorenzo. He joined the Templars to seek revenge. It was Maffei who slashed Lorenzo's neck. And he still lived. Archbishop Badass. Francesco Salviati. Convinced he would be the next Archbishop of Florence, Salviati was enraged when Lorenzo stood in his way. But the Templars were there to heal his wounds. It was Salviati who marched their troops into the city. And they all must die. I still find it funny that Jacopo <laughs> was just like Liberty Medici on your map. In order to achieve a hundred percent sync with Ezio's life, you should go explore it. What? Uh, oh, I already did that. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I already did that. <laughs> I am too good. Yeah, and I, oh, again, I swear that that was not in the original game. Like, the base game, at least. I swear that had to have been a you-play special thingity thing that you got by, again, using you-play points, coin thingies, and be like, I got this reward! Because I assume that's what it was. Because, again, I never experienced that, and I did beat Assassin's Creed 1, uh, 1 and 2. Brotherhood and Revelations are a bit more up in the air. I remember a decent amount of them, but it has been a long, long time. Who shall I murder? Come to me, bird. Tell me your secrets. You have to go kill this motherfucker. Nice. A plot against Florence's supply line has been detected. Ended it by killing the merchant at the marketplace in the San Marco district. Lorenzo! I am now being hired out uh, to Lorenzo. I am being hired by a rich man to kill a market competitor. I mean, he's probably a Templar market competitor, but still. And again, it is shocking that I've yet to run into a pickpocket or a little bibbidi bee guy. You know, bibbidi bee guy. It has been a while since I ran into a bibbidi bee. Mm, what is it? Uh, what's his name? Not name, but like title. Courier boy. We haven't run into a courier boy in a long time. You get in my way, mate.
He says he's sorry as I'm running away. I don't think he's sorry. The evil is propagated. Imagine if Toad from Mario was your town crier. What in hell frame is going on? I'm beginning to think your face would look better black and floated with your tongue out and a rope for a collar. See? Right? You understand? I'm running around you. I wonder what would happen if I ran into him again after he reset. It would be amusing to me. It would be interesting if they, like, acknowledged it and, like, uh, Oh, you gotta do it again, and then draw their swords attack me. If the game had the knowledge to remember that. Assassin's Creed Nemesis System win! Wouldn't really work because orcs come back and... Humans don't. The quality of our fishing is legendary. Here you know you are getting the best. Perfect place. <laughs> Assassin for hire. But only for friends. Only for friends. Apparently there's more assassin contracts. Why not? They're quick and simple. They give me slight bit of money. Can pad the time so that more money can be added to the villa's coffers. And then I can go and really upgrade the villa. Unless the game lied to me and or I misunderstood it and uh, Claudia takes a lot of money from me. That would be upsetting. Asshole. Go away. I'm here to assassinate. I think I saw the body fall. Tell me your secrets, pigeon. Another asshole needs to die! Several Pazzi archers attacked the Palazzo della Signoria last night. I've tracked them to the edge of the river in the San Marco district. Killed them. Yeah, I just... When the game lets me have control of the camera, the free running's actually pretty good. There is the occasional... Oh! But, hey, uh, it's... It's better than it was in Assassin's Creed 1, at least. It's not as bad. So I can't get angry. Crush pad! That's my favorite dismount technique. Great. Brutes are now added to the guard. My favorite. We. You're not part of my targets, but you must die either way. Because you do not believe in the cause, little man. No, that one. Feather! Feather! Aw, oh, my armor's broken. Whore. I just wanted to grab a a a a a bit of habita. Habita shabba habba. They track them to the river. Run, run, run! Did, did that guy T-pose? Or did I just, like, cross him over with some kind of outline? Because it looked like he T-posed. Come on, come on, come Just come to the edge. I wish I had the gun. I could point the gun at him, he'd die. Yes, yes. Goodbye. Ah, uh, throwing. Goodbye. <laughs> this insane assassino. Ah, uh, da da da. 
We'll do one more assassination contract, and then we'll head back to Leonardo to decrypt the thing, get an upgrade. I don't know what the upgrade will be. Maybe the poison? Maybe the poison. I don't think we get the gun until Venice. That was close. I almost fell. I almost died. I almost pissed my pants. Whee! And off we go through the crowds, through the damned. They don't even know that I'm an assassin, primarily because I took down all my wanted posters, so they cannot know that I'm an assassin. But, you know, we're totally not about uh, controlling uh, information, not at all. No, 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 no. That's the Templar's job. We're just taking down false information by the Templars, that's all. We're good people. Tell me, Pigeon, what is your wisdom? Even more motherfuckers need to die. A member of the Signoria was working with the Pazzi to turn the tide against our family. He's located near the church of San Lorenzo, but kill him silently. He has powerful friends. So, probably want to... Throwing knife him. Let's see where he is on the map. Very the fuck far away. Sure thing. Let's travel by road. I'm dead! I wanted to go and follow the birds. Like Dad told me. Follow the birds. He was telling me to assassinate, but I was like, there was nobody to assassinate there. Get out. That guy went into a wall partially. Good for him. It's the mall, man! So, yeah. We'll prob... Ooh. I'll need to find him amongst this place. <laughs> the the talking guy is considered my enemy because he's probably talking shit about me. I thought I was locked on him. I kind of wish that it didn't remove HUD elements ever so slightly. What the hell is this motherfucker? Oh, he's probably being guarded on either side here. He's being guarded on either side. I'm going to need some courtesans. I don't know where any courtesans might be. Or, hmm, I did recently kill... Oh, no, that would put, like, heat on the area. Because the archer body would distract them. I need courtesans. Because I need to do this quietly. Target located. I have no idea how I can do that if he's just gonna stay there. Oh, so they get to go through, but not me! I've been cheated. But yeah, it definitely feels like the only way to get them. Maybe the thieves. There were thieves. But I'm not sure the thieves' job are to be distractions. I think their job primarily is to be paid to then mass pickpocket an area. But that could be used as a distraction, maybe. Oi! Thieves! Because I don't think they're courtesans. Are they courtesans? The problem with the courtesans is they're all on the ground. Right. What's the plan? That goal. Uh. 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 
Lure them away. That didn't count as a kill. We must destroy this blasphemer. He takes the values most dear to all good Christian folk and very rude game. Why is it that the instant kills aren't instant kills when they matter, game? That's very inconsistent of you. Game. Kill him without being found. Oh, by the way, the only, one of the best ways to do that isn't gonna work. Fuck you. Why? Whoever designed this was an asshole. We need to make it so that they can't actually use one of the tools of assassinating. Why? Because I'm an asshole. There's no reason to do that. There's literally no reason to do it, except to be an asshole, and they chose to be an asshole. Run into me again and I'll stab you. Wait, it's just very stupid that, oh yeah, throwing knives, you know, that thing that kills armored guards instantly. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. Why? Because we need to up the difficulty. But it doesn't make sense because it breaks the entire logic of everything. Oh, but we need more difficulty. But it doesn't make sense. It's stupid and it completely removes an entire tool that should be used to play the game. But I want to be harder. Stupid bullshit. Whoa. It's a novel way to get about, I suppose. I'm gonna say it again and again. That is just stupid bullshit. Fuck off. It's me, the stupid bullshit detector, and you're evil. Yeah, I just have no patience for stupid bullshit that doesn't have any reason. And that is no reason whatsoever. Lure them away. Because what I want now is for a group of civilians to run by that I can use as cover, but I don't think three works. Yeah, three doesn't work for some reason. What is with all the threes? Yeah, you can blend in with crowds. We're not going to give you a crowd to blend into. While also not letting you have any ranged abilities. Because you know. Bullshit game design is fun. Turn on in. Turn right. I know how you people work. You saw guards and went in without bothering the world. I probably could have just walked in there and done that, but you never know. But I still think it's stupid that I couldn't do it with the throwing knives. So what you're telling me is that armed and armored archers, you know, people who are probably wearing armor that's at least somewhat decent against arrows, because they're archers, can be downed with a throwing knife, but an unarmored royal man... No, fuck you. Apparently. Stupid game. You know they're just gonna kill you up there because they're assholes. Hey, I've already uh, stolen that codex. Look at him. 
Look at him. Like what you see, big boy? Come on, fight me. And die. Whee. And now you die, because the sword is just super nice when it comes to leeway. I'll probably want to throw him to the ground. Come on, fight me. So I can kill you. Look there. I want to grab you. But I want to grab you. And now you die. My dude, you're coming for me. Ah, fine, you can get away. Why can he run up buildings? It makes no sense. He does not deserve to run up buildings. That's my job. He's co-opting my job. Wait, do I already own all of these? I already own all of them. So sure, I'll grab this relatively cheap one. <laughs> Excellent, sir. A true patron of the arts. Walk away from this A true patron because I already I bought all of your paintings of Florence. I didn't steal your wallet, but I still broke your shit. I must get home. Knock, knock. I have a better codex page for you to codex. If I... Ezio, thank God you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. But well, whatever your reasons, similar. the city's safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Codex. Ah. Another page. It's like a gift. He loves it so much. Aha. Immediately goes to, to the last one. <laughs> going Just into it. Long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. He see. loves uh, deciphering things. It's another blade design for delivering poison. Neat. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the. It's all right, Leonardo. Do what you need to do. I trust you because you're a good man. Voiced by a funny character from the last game. Or by a guy that did voice oh, that man. character. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. <laughs> a doctor? Poison. From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. And now we can do super stealth kills. If so long as they aren't like, meh. Ah, poison to start, huh? Poison to start! I think I've been cheated. Alright, but... Well, actually, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll just uh, fast travel to the place. Yeah, we'll fast travel back to the villa. Mm, but at the same time, assassination contracts. I'm going to do another assassination contract. I am just hooked on it. We'll buy some poison in case it comes in handy. Oh. Well, apparently I already have it. I, mean, I need to buy that anyway. Poison to start with. Get off my seat. But yeah, we'll do more assassinating because I want to. It's nice, quick fun, except for the moments where the game's design is stupid. You see this rich, fat man. He is more well defended than an actual guardsman against throwing knives. It's a miracle that the French Revolution went off without a hitch. Ah, the guillotine should have just bounced right off their necks. Stupid so much. Uh, and plus, I kind of want to just finish off Florence while we're here. Except for the race. Fuck the race. I don't care about it. 
A member of the Salvucci family, who helped smuggle our enemies into Florence, has been found near the cow uh, covered market south of Santa Maria Novella. Kill him, but make sure you are not seen. Poison time. Because I can just walk up, poison him, walk away. See? Game, when you want to do, like, contextual stuff, do stuff like that. Don't do crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. My nose decided it wanted to murder me. But didn't want to use its mighty power to kill a guard for me. Because it's an asshole. But we got lots of... Another thing is, I think they added the guards to the minimap so that you can actually round a corner and know what's going to be there. And luckily, unless he has a super angry guard escort, I should be able to easily... Kill this guy without being found, and walk away. It's probably deeper inside. For a moment there, I thought that entire contingent was his. What? Hey! Why? Game! It's just being inconsistent again. Guards shouldn't do that, game. Maybe I need to kill his guard as well? If you're gonna do that, have it actually be, oh, you are uh, high alert or whatever. Because no guards have done that yet, game. Be consistent, asshole. I don't want to be consistent. I want random difficulty. Game's an asshole. Fine, I'll kill his guard when good opportunity shows itself that all the rest of the guard go away. Unless they're all following him. Takes two poison, but I... I leave. I just wanted to walk on by. Hey! I don't care about your music! Be gone! The upside to the assassinations, they give me more assassinations to assassination. Downside of the assassinations, they have odd mechanics that just don't really make sense. Because again, it would be one thing if it was like the game had a secondary set of like guard type that was like, warning, this kind of guard is super fucking pissed and will attack you if you get too close or something like that. Else it's just, oh yeah, we randomly coded this guard to be angry at you if you get too close. You know, despite the fact, like, I would accept it if he attacked random people that, the random civilians that got close to his charge. But didn't do it. It doesn't do it. So I hate it. It's inconsistent. Like the people that can freely walk past the row of guards because the row of guards aren't there normally. So they continue on their normal path. And the guards don't attack them. <laughs> it just annoys me. Our enemies are trying to reorganize. They are planning a meeting somewhere in the city. Follow our only known lead until he brings you to the conspirators. Then kill them. Because, like, all I want is consistency. Information so I know how to go about dealing with my enemies. But when the game is like, oh yeah, this guard, he randomly does that. I hate it. It's fucking stupid. Oh yeah, this guard, he does that. Why? Because we wanted more difficulty. If we just let you do that, then it would be too easy. 
So we're gonna make it stupid. And I hate it. And I'm gonna call it stupid every single time something like that happens. Make it not stupid. Make it consistent, then design around the consistencies. Like, that's all you have to do. <laughs> it sounds like they actually know who I am, that I am the assassino. And they're like, let's serenade this man! But yeah, just, I want consistency from the game. And then I want just the information to know what is the situation. Like, if Lorenzo said, hey, he has a guard with him that's gonna very fucking piss, he's gonna attack you no matter what. Sure. I don't mind that. But that's not what the game did. It's not what it did. I just want information to base my actions on that I can then execute the actions based off of my own merits and failures. That is all that I want out of a game. And when the game randomly does it, this normal guy, he doesn't die from throwing knives. It makes sense if it's a character that's not meant to die yet. Kill them all. I can just kill them and all the guards disappear. Easiest money I've ever made. Oh, hey, and there's a treasure chest there, too. Hey, treasure chest. Game. We are going to have so much renovation money. We'll do at least one more. At least one more. Okay, might hit the interact button. Stop. Stop it. Bird, what is your wisdom? Man, this game's kind of an ass sometimes. He's an asshole. We are so close to eliminating all those involved in the attack on Florence. Find and kill the conspirator near Santa Maria Novella and make sure he doesn't spot you. Now the problem is I would love to try the throwing knives again. But the game already went along and said fuck you when it comes to that, so I'm very fucking scared. I would love, love to try and just throw a knife from a roof to kill him. But the game probably won't let me do that. Because the game is a jerk. And just doesn't let you actually play the game. But uh, make sure he doesn't spot me. I have poison for that. Is he at the party? Nope, not this party. I swear, some of the guards are pre-bloodied. Poison. And now I walk away. I give him a light little tap. And then he dies. I just wait for it to pop and then for the, uh, the money to hit my account and uh, everything will be good. I wonder if they even suspect poison when that happens. 
like, in isolated incidents, if, like, a bunch of people die the same choking way, they probably think, man, that's weird. I also kind of like that the this place is broken up into three districts again. Is there no assassination? I guess, yeah, there's one in ish each district, which is fine, but I think they should have been stationed a bit better. But yeah, since it says we're, we're getting closer and closer and closer to finishing off our foes, let's go and try to finish off our foes. It's good money. Gives a bit of time for even more th money to hit my <gasps> villa account for massive renovations. You can fucking grab that asshole. No, it's a 2D object, not a 3D thing. Come on, game. You can do better than that. You can stop being an asshole. Please. Die. You'd think killing someone would make it impossible for me to become notorious because I killed the person that saw me kill them. Because they themselves were the person I killed, game. Quit being an asshole. I loathe you sometimes. It's all from camera placement, which is why I hate it when the game steals away my camera controls. Because if the game already wigs out when I'm in control, sometimes, and I just don't have it at the right point, please, game, don't steal away my control. It's very worrying. What is it? Is it the final one? A contingent of traitorous guards is planning to march on my pass. Kill them all before they trigger a riot. Kill ten brutes in one minute. At least it's not timed at the start here, but I need to get there and start killing brutes like crazy. Which is probably gonna be... I don't have the poison to kill tin brutes. That's where hug tech comes in. I could buy poison. We've been paid a lot of money. But <laughs> poison is very expensive. Because it is... A lot of... But it, at the same time, it's killing a minute, so... I'll need to poison... Five... And then start killing. But yeah, I think it's because they knew that... The assassination contract... Activators were like, far, far apart. That they're like, we can't just start it when it starts. So, thank you, game, for being smart here. Poison him. I can't poison them for some reason. Luckily, hug tech. Fear the power of the hug tech. Ah, poison. It whittled down their numbers, distracted them. Worked really well. How many people have you pissed off, Lorenzo? We're gonna have to buy more poison, which will, I think, be a fourth of that one. I didn't even see. Maybe it was three thousand. Either way, 
It's gonna get even worse if I can upgrade my poison pouch. That's another thing. I should... Because this will probably be able to upgrade all of the villa that we have left standing. And now I can then focus on upgrades. From the villa with full discount. And by full discount, it's uh, 15%. Which is kind of funny. He is the master who renovated everything. 15%. You think showing up, causing a bunch of people to go crazy and die and stabbing a bit more would have give a bit more notoriety. Hopefully this will be the last assassination problem. So we can move on from Florence. A small group of the con Condatiori who attacked my palace have been spotted and seem to be regrouping. Tail one of them to their garrison and kill their leader. Some tailing and murdering. Ah, it's in the area. Good. Personally, if I designed these missions, what I would have done was make it so that each starting point of the assassination started in a different location and like led to a different location just so that it's like a bit quicker or you know just have the assassination be accepted within the area of its actual mission and be it like have it be like a dead drop unique each time rather than a pigeon coop i understand why they did it this way i'm just saying could be nice Kind of jerk move that he is walking directly fucking in front of me. Toward me. But now we need to follow him. Go kill his family. Create a spiral of revenge. You killed my father. Well, your father killed my father. That'd be kind of funny. And just goes on. Well, your father killed my father, and your father killed my. Uh, well, yeah, your. F <laughs> or like, it just goes on and on and on. Well, your father killed my grandfather, and your grandfather killed my grandfather. Well, your grandfather killed my great grandfather. Well, your great grandfather killed my great grandfather. On and on and on and on and on. And your great great grandfather stole my great 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 grandfather's ice cream. It just never ends. I think he grabbed a friend. Find thy wounds, noble senior. Let their mouth be not in vain. You have our hearts and sometimes more. Ever grateful. <laughs> yep, he's just grabbing more and more buddies. If only I could sneak up and like poison his friends. But we're not allowed to do that. But now the spear guys have become part of the guard rotation. They'll be interesting to deal with when I actually get to fight them. But I can see the guys that are following him, so he's obviously not that far away. And plus, you're the game that told me to uh, keep my distance. And then the twist is that those two guys want to kill him too, and we need to actually save him. Nice long winding path. Where are you even going? Oh, there's a third one. You can't tell because they're kind of walking in front of each other, but there's three of them. kind of salute each other as they pass. We're gonna send out a big guy and then a bunch of little guys. The little guys will support the big guy. What happens if the big guy dies? Ah, you'll probably run away like a bunch of pansies. 
Ah, uh, we're coming up on a restricted area. We need to kill all inside. Luckily, they give you 25 seconds to catch up. I don't even need to kill them all. I just need to kill the garrison leader. So maybe this will work this time. Probably not, because the game is a jerk. And it's like, no, you need to assassinate him. Like an assassinator. Yep. Oh no, he actually took some damage. Game. But it's very rude, because he's running away now. Or is he running towards me? There we go. And none of his friends thought to do anything. None of his friends thought, hey. He's running away for some reason. What is he doing? <laughs> Ah, it's not our bother. We're just here to stand at formation. But he's the garrison leader for our coup. What are we gonna do? He just went away. He told us to stand here. We're standing here. You just know this is gonna be one of his stupid little tests. He was just like, oh, you didn't listen to me, even though you should have probably listened to me. And that's why when the garrison leader runs, we just stay here. He didn't say anything. He's just doing weird things. Forget it. But I'm very worried. <laughs> Shut up. Stop worrying. I just realized, I think, uh, was there a mission back there? I don't know. Is there a mission here? Either way, I think I'm going to explore Tuscany a little bit after. Ah, there's a mission here. Well, I'll try not to activate it. Where is it? Ah, it's in a place that I'd probably like to activate the Codex Wall. Hopefully it'll be another one I can have to go up and actually talk to them. But I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna renovate everything as physically possible. And then bother about getting weapons, armor, stuff, paintings. Hibbledy jibbledy. Look at this place, it's getting much better. It even has lights. Ain't that majestic lights. I don't even know if we reached the maximum of the the chest. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Salute, Sir Ezio. Shall we take a look at the list? The big, big list. A bunch of things that need to be done. Well, first things first. Upgrade the blacksmith. Upgrade the art merchant. Upgrade the tailor. And then... Will we actually be able to do it with all our money so we won't be able to buy anything? But this place is fully renovated when it comes to this, and now it's just down to buying things of which I have no money to do with. But the value went up a fuck ton. So how much do I get per thing now? Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? I get ten thousand per twenty minutes. Nice. A presto, Ezio. Don't activate. Don't activate. Ezio. Motherfucker. <laughs> come in. Come in. To what do we owe the honor? I didn't want to do that. Because, then again, I don't have any money. Please, Claudia, bring in the money soon. Because it's been a bit since the last upgrade. Upgrade. Up diddly D of 20 minutes. It should be happening soon-ish. 
And then I'll be able to go out and buy things. Like armor and weapons. Which then raise our value even more. But yeah, nice that this place has been fully renovated. Flags flying. Still doesn't feel like there's a lot of people in the streets. I spent a lot of money in this place. So I can buy ammunition. I don't really buy you, though. What's a good sword? Florentine Falcon. So we'll probably buy a Florentine Falcon for diddly D. Yeah, basically, I just want money. I want money. Because I don't know what... Mm, I'll spend a little bit of time looking for the hidden money that's here, apparently. And hope that the money comes in. Because by the time I grab these two, wherever they are, they're probably on the roof. They're hiding. Hiding from me. Their owner is very rude. I just want the money to come in. I spent a lot of money upgrading this place. Ooh, portraits of all the people I've killed. I think. Francesco de Pazzi. So yeah, this is the place where the various portraits of the people I've killed will go. We had to pay people to paint the people I've killed. That's interesting. How did they get the reference? I killed them. Did we pay them? Like, obviously we didn't pay them to paint them before we killed them. Because it all started rather suddenly. Still don't know where that other... Oh, is it in... Nice they're actually here in full. I don't even know where those chests are. This is just where more paintings go. Very interesting. I do like that you can actually wander around this place and there's something to it rather than just blah blah blah. This is the armory, where apparently I already have a bunch of swords. Frederick's Hammer, Mace of the Bull, Dark Oracle's Bone Dagger, Twin's Rapier. These must be just diddly d. Hilarious. But that's DLC stuff, or you play store stuff and... I don't feel like that's a, a nice thing to do, to use the Uplay store stuff. I think it would be rather rude. Ah, we got yeah, the money came in, yay. Now we can go on a small buying spree. Well, no, we can't because I upgraded everything. I'll probably buy the sword and some armor. Just to be a little bit practical. But at the same time... Well, at least buy the sword, because that's super practical. Weapon, give me the Florentine Falcon. Then, the various thing is we can't get that, because I spent all my goddamn money. But that would really increase it. I can run around, grab some chests. Let's see, what upgrades in pouches? No, just the same thing, and I don't really care about grabbing medicine too much. But yeah, I'll grab some chests, get the better thing, the better armor. We'll look into doing the 
uh, the next mission here. See, that's a good version of taking control of the camera. To actually show something that the player might miss in the design of the area. I think that might be enough. It might not. We'll go ahead and check. Because I just want the, the slight bit better armor. All of our patrons are mercenaries, thieves, and whores. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Go ahead and buy that. You'll be well satisfied. I know it. And then quickly talk again to repair, if at all possible. Repair all. Come again, please. We'll do the mission and then we'll end. That way we can have a nice active end rather than me trying to make random excuses as to why we aren't uh, doing something as I wait for the money to come in. Because surely the money will come in. It comes in every 20 minutes and it's been quite a while. Come on. But hey, we fully diddly deed this. But not 100% just yet. I've been sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Jacopo. Ah, who is it? We've been at it for days. For Perhaps days. what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means... They yeah, because Jacopo to is a big I will put my banker man. The other house. guys are like a I wannabe bishop. Help, Uncle. I've got something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? Profit. What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. Find You'll more, I shall. for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. More practice, huh? Sure. Will it teleport me there, or will I be able to look at the codex wall? And nope, we meet him here. All right, Ezio. That's a good sword you have. Or scabbard. But what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. But we shall run Tough into them eventually. Offers little protection against Templar steel. Indeed. Then by all means, Maestro, teach me what to do. Counter, counter. Bene, bene. Now do it again. Dodging. Much better. One last time now. Bravo. So if you run into enemy... Ah, disarming time. Give me a sword. Let's see it another time. <laughs> he just picks up another sword. I drop mine. Give me your sword. Just one more time, Ezio. Give me, give me your sword. Man. Magnifico! Once again, you exceed my expectations. Are we being attacked? We found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries at the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. Like countryside, countryside, or Tuscany countryside? It looks like we're going to country uh, Tuscany anyway! I'm just gonna mess around with the codex wall since we grabbed a bit of codexes. See, the dodge and like actually learning things like that feels like more natural to me. Ooh, we can <laughs> learn, learn stuff. Neat. Something like that, perhaps. Ah. Follows like such. Aha! Then I think that. 
then that. Probably either like that or that. Um, I feel like the lines will better show in the future, but we are getting there. We are slowly getting there. Uh, that one will be figured out in the future. We have tin to go. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go to Tuscany. Let's go to Tuscany. I got some new armor. I got a new sword. I got new skills. I'll probably forget to do dodges and just be like, Why is he countering attacking me? At least they addressed it in this game. Whereas in Assassin's Creed 1, if there was an enemy who did counterattacking, you basically then, like, there wasn't even a rhyme or reason to it. It was just, oh yeah. Uh, enemies, uh, this enemy, you hit them enough that they're gonna counterattack you. I shall ride to Tuscany myself. We'll run about, get the viewpoints, do the mission. And who knows, maybe even find the other glyphs for the truth in Tuscany. If this even is running into Tuscany, for all we know, it could be actually like, Would you like to go to Venice? I don't know. <laughs> To Tuscany, San Guilherm. Take me to San Guilherm. Provided you don't fully lose the square. Don't lose the squares. The squares are important. He looks at you. He says, give him money. He needs to buy another portrait of a dead man. Oh, and there is a... Ah, there's missions here. Assassinations, lots of things. So, yeah. Actually, t -t 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 mm, nope, we'll go ahead, finish, we'll do the countryside towers, because we might run across things. Because mainly, I don't want a mission to come along and, like, strong arm me into a long series of events. Hmm. You know, I think this is the perfect staging area for playing the game later. Then later, the next time we play this, we can start up, go, play the... Uh, do the various diddly dees, Do the assassin tomb, the beat-ups. Do all the side things that I want to do in this area. Then the mission. And then I think that will be good. I think that would be good. But... Yes! Thank you very much for watching. Assassin's Creed 2 has continued to be very fun. Mostly just the oddities of the contextual running and it taking control of the camera away from me. Oh, we're infamous here. Neat. I mean, we did raise kind of quite a stir and Jacopo's men are looking for us, so I guess it makes sense. But, but, but yeah, overall, the game has been very fun still. The combat flows smoothly. For the most part, the free-running parkour is much better than Assassin's Creed 1. It's just the few moments where the game decides to go uh, that it's kind of scuffed. But overall, very fun. Very fun. And, yeah, I kind of, kind of liked that I moved over to the PlayStation 4 version. Just made things a little bit easier in certain ways, yes. But yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can find the rest of my streams up on YouTube on the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games where archives of such things as Mass Effect 1, 2, 3 as well as Kirby in the Forgotten Land, Undertale, Digimon Survive, lots of things are up there. But if you're one of those people watching the archives right now, you can catch me playing these games live on twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. And then... If you want to make sure you catch my streams when they go live, I try to keep my schedule updated on my Twitch channel, where you, there's actually a little tab that's like schedule, and then you can set the dates and the times that you'll go live to keep people informed. Especially because I think it'll actually show your own time zone, because I'm bad at time zone conversions. <laughs> But if that is too much baller for you, you can always just follow me on Twitter, in which I send out a tweet for when I go live. And then I delete the tweet for when I finish, that way it's not confusing. 
so nobody comes up at like midnight and like, oh, he's live, and then I'm not. I think it just makes things simpler. And then if you would like things such as my little avatar in the corner, you can follow me on Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, or Tumblr for art from yours truly. All of them are at Neon Icy Wings as the handle, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.